The other thing I did, Gavin, real quick, was I saw a white paper called 0123++. That sounds scary. Like, yep, another streaming service. Sign me up. I'll take the ads. <laughs> Let's go. Turns out it is a very, very nerdy and all the right ways paper and code library that lets you prompt a single two-dimensional image, a flat 2D image, and it tries to generate a 3D version of that image and give you perspectives from all angles. So the computer graphics nerds are now going like, wait, I can feed it a still image and get a 3D model? No, you get 2D images of your image from multiple perspectives. So you could then conceivably run it in another AI program or manually take those images and put it onto a 3D model that you make. But check out the results, Gavin, because here's what's interesting. I ran an old sketch of a 2D model through it that we had on our show before. It's a weird little man in a yellow shirt with blue jean shorts and a little blue cap. But we did this for, I think it was our first or second episode. We ran it through a, a meta animation program and it made it dance oh, yeah. and move about. What it does is it takes the 2D image and almost like imagine a, a, a piece of clay that's flat on the wow. table. Wow, yeah, it'll interesting. It'll lift it up. It'll extrude it, so it'll it'll kind of give it some depth, and then it uses a diffusion model, which is a way a lot of these AI programs generate imagery. It'll try to guess at what the different angles should be, but it does a good job. I ran a pixel art gorilla with a mushroom hat through it. I just asked Dolly. Oh, oh I just saw the next it? thing. I saw the next one. That looks amazing. Oh, <laughs> go on. What's the next one, Gab? The Which one blew one your mind? Because is... I was shocked. It looks like uh, if I were going to recast Men in Black, but I was going to do it in Hot Dog City, it's a it's a hot dog Men in Black. And in this instance, it's an image of a hot dog with sunglasses. And then what's so cool about this is you see it fully in 3D. You can see all the different angles. And like, uh, so Kevin, in the beginning, this was just a 2D image of the hot dog in the suit. I went to Dolly and I said, give me an anthropomorphized hot Amazing. dog in a suit. And it gave me one single still image. I fed it through this program and seconds later out came the 3D perspectives. And you can see we talk about coherence, right? Yep. There are wrinkles on the top of the hot dog, which you see from all angles. The yep. arms coming out of the bun, it had to figure out, well, from this perspective, you would only see a little bit of the elbow, but it got the rest of the toasty bun. It's making guesses as to what is there. And I'm not telling it. Here's yeah. a 2D image of a hot dog with sunglasses and a tie. It is just seeing that in the main image and figuring out the rest. The only guess that seems off to me is it looks like that there is a, they are not only are they wraparound sunglasses, they are full ring sunglasses, which means that they have fully connected in the back uh, across the whole back. This and is the I, new Ray-Ban's <laughs> Oculus Quest mashup. Uh, you'll also see uh, Rock Avocado. Yeah, it's an avocado with a keytar. But it looks like again, he might be a little rotten on the inside, but that's fair. That happens to avocados from time to time. All of these were just hallucinated out of Dolly. I said, give me a soda wow. can that says something on it. What I wanted to see was, as it was guessing the different angles, would it keep the letters or the text coherent? And it sort of Kind of did, kind that. of it's, did, yeah. Yeah, you can see that it's kind of there. But again, we talk so often about the future that is going to be this AI holodeck, right? Well, yep. where we're going to have our, our goggles on and we'll be able to say, hey, let me see a three-foot cacti there. Now give them sunglasses and let them play a guitar. The pipeline to that is going to form one way or yeah. the other. And what I loved with this was it was free to play with. I, I ran a demo on Hugging Face. So you can just go to Hugging Face, search 0123, and you can run your own instance of it and play with your own 2D images, your own sketches. This felt to me like, oh, wow, the, the pipeline is happening, right? Yeah. I, I, could, yeah. I could quickly ask an AI to give me a 2D image. I ran it over here. Here was the 3D perspective. By tomorrow, I'm sure, by the next podcast we release, someone will, will take these perspectives and create a tool that makes the 3D model, and then you'll be able to put it in augmented reality. I love our magical future. I think it's going to be great. 